Welcome everyone. You're listening to another edition of In The Know. I'm your host, Tony Reeves. How many of you have had people in your personal circle, people who you consider friends or even family members, make little snide off the cuff remarks about your success or about the things you're doing? Are you overreacting when you hear those things and think you're being too sensitive? Or are you asking yourself the question, maybe these people are throwing shade because they don't understand what you're doing and you're questioning whether or not this person should still remain in your life? Today, we're going to talk about two things. One, recognizing that some people will throw shade at you because your flow is really bright. And two, having to deal with people who are in your personal circle who are throwing shade at you that you now have to decide whether you have to, you have to let those people go or not. So we're going to take the first one, which is very easy. What happens is that a lot of times when you're doing things and you're making moves, over time, you're going to progress and evolve. And we've talked about this at length in various other podcasts where I've talked about recognizing that you are making power moves and you're making uh, decisions and making steps to get you in a particular way. What you're going to find is that as you start moving up and you start introducing yourself into different areas and different scenarios and different circles, you're going to have people who are going to be a little bit on the resentful side that you are there, whether it be because it took them longer to get there or they just may have decided that you should not have been given the opportunity to be there. And that's okay because that comes with what happens when you, you shine bright. When you start doing things and you have, are putting in the work to do the things to get you to where you need to be, trust me, there are going to be people out there who they're going to resent the fact that your work got you to where you are. And that is their problem. It's important that you don't let their problem become your issue. So when you find yourself in a situation where you are dealing with people who are taking it upon themselves to have some feelings about the fact that you are in a place and you are moving at a particular pace that is not the same as them, just recognize as long as they are not trying to hurt you, or more importantly, as long as you do what's necessary to protect yourself, don't let it take you aback that they're being this way. Unfortunately, this brings me to the second problem. What happens when the person who's shading you is someone who you expect to have your back. I can tell you there's nothing more disturbing than being in a situation where you have someone that you've known for a while, someone who has been looking up to you or you've looked up to them, and now all of a sudden they are presenting themselves a particular way. They, they're in their feelings because you are moving. Now, a lot of other things may come into play. They may be upset about their circumstances. They may be upset because they started at the same time as you. They may be upset because they believe they should be further along and you just seem to be moving so fast. And all those things are viable reasons for them. That has nothing to do with you. They may look at you and say, why do you have these opportunities? Why do you have the chance to do these things? Why are you in these positions? Because guess what? You're not with them all the time, so they don't see the work you put in to put yourself in these positions. So taking that to the side, you're going to have to stop for a second and ask yourself a real critical question. Is this person worthy of spending time in your life going forward if they are now taking actions or having to dis or displaying attitudes towards you that may have you believing that they are no longer interested in having your well-being in mind? Now, I will tell you that most instances, if you talk to your friends about this, they'll probably tell you, oh, my bad, I, I want the best for you, I'm just in a different headspace. And that's all well and good. But the hard reality is, is that if you, are, if you have people who are in your personal circle who are no longer viewing you in a particular light because they are jealous of your success, you have to now make a critical decision. Is it worth it to you to keep that person in your life? Because guess what? If they are willing to throw shade on your success as you are in the early phases, it's only going to get worse over time. So if they can't get over themselves and be able to be happy for your success, you cannot let your growth and success be a catalyst for them to find ways to shade your success. 
All right, everybody, this has been another episode of In the Know with Tony Reeves. And I thank you, our listening audience, for tuning in. Join us next time for more engaging conversations. And if you like what you heard, please subscribe and leave me a review. To sign up for my newsletter or watch my videos or even read my blog, visit anthonyreeves.com. For more podcasts, you can visit Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. And you can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at my name is Reeves. I am Tony Reeves, and always make sure you are in the know.